AQED News, I'm Brian Watt. More Oakland families are choosing the district's charter schools over its public schools. New enrollment data shows an 8% jump over last year. This is only fueling the fears of many parents who say charters are shortchanging public schools. KQED's education reporter Anna Tintakalis explains the conflict is playing out in local school board elections. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming here today. Parents who say they're deeply worried about Oakland Unified's future gathered outside the district's downtown offices yesterday to lash out at what they called the privatization of their local school system. Clarissa Douthard is a mom of an Oakland third grader. When Republican billionaires come into Oakland and pour money into candidates running for school board, their agenda and ideas about what our district should look like are at the center. Our children are not experiments. And their futures are not up for sale to the highest bidder. Douthard is referring to recent campaign finance records that show a handful of super wealthy pro-charter advocates that include Michael Bloomberg are spending almost half a million dollars to get three Oakland school board members elected. Outraged parents like Kim Davis say they're just trying to do grassroots work to combat this. You know, we have no money to spend, but we do have our voices. So, you know, person to person, family to family, school to school, hopefully we can make the difference. Charter school advocates say they will continue to amass all the resources necessary to provide Oakland families more school choices. I'm Anna Tentakalis, KQED News. And I'm Brian Watt, KQED News.